One of the most important aspects of training is improving tendon health. Majority of hoopers, volleyball players, and many other athletes will suffer from some form of patellar tendonitis or tendinopathy, uh, Achilles tendonitis, or some form of tendon pain in their career. So whether we're looking to get more athletic or preventing these tendon injuries or managing uh, these tendon injuries, if we already have some sort of tendinopathy, it takes a well-balanced approach. Fortunately, in the last five to 10 years, there's been research breakthroughs in this area. And what we now understand is there's three important pieces. So we have the nutritional aspect, the physiological aspect, and the neurological aspect. So tip number one is take care of the nutritional aspect. When it comes to the research in this area, Dr. Keith Barr is at the forefront. So some of his recent work has concluded that subjects who took 15 grams of gelatin one hour before exercise showed double the amino terminal peptide of collagen one in their blood, indicating increased collagen synthesis, AKA we can actually start to heal the tendon and build the strength and the stability of that tendon by taking 15 grams of gelatin. Now the other key Key component here is in the study they also use 50 milligrams of vitamin C along with the gelatin now that gelatin without the vitamin C does not work so they have to be paired together which is why we normally have an orange or a glass of orange juice along with our gelatin supplement uh, you can just make jello just make sugar-free jello at home and that has been proven to work now it's not conclusive whether that works better than collagen so sometimes if it's easier and quicker we just take a simple collagen supplement because the amino acid profile is actually very similar so either way whether you're doing collagen or you're doing the gelatin both of those need to be paired with at least 50 milligrams of vitamin c now that needs to be done one hour before exercise so the reason it has to be done one hour before exercise is because now once you start exercising and we start to get blood flowing to that area it can start to soak up those nutrients right because muscles are more metabolically active so whatever you feed it it'll start to soak up tendons are very different you have to move the joint you have to exercise the joint so that that joint can start to act like a sponge and so it can bring in that vitamin c and that collagen now another crucial part of keith barr's work is that shorter sessions work better for the tendons so in this study they did the pre-workout supplement they waited an hour and then they exercised for 10 minutes uh, in this study they used the jump rope for achilles tendinopathy so just keep in mind the muscles might respond well to 30 minutes to an hour of exercise but the tendons will peak at 10 minutes and then after that it's going to start uh, to go towards degradation and that is not going to lead to more tendon health so it is not a bad idea to do your normal session earlier in the morning and then in the evening come back and do your 10 minute tendon session now tip number two is loading the tendons we cannot be afraid to load so in the past i've had patella tendonitis or tendinopathy and i was always afraid to load so i always took the doctor's advice of just rest just relax and it never really worked because the the tendon was never uh, able to actually remodel now there is debate whether the tendon ever remodels or as i've heard jill cook describe it don't fix the hole fix the donut so according to some literature they would say that that hole may never be fixed in the tendon but you can build around that tendon so it's like you're adding layers to a tree and so when you add healthy layers it can then sort of compensate for the um for the the actual tendinopathy but regardless of the exact mechanism, what we do know is loading works. Now, the problem is a lot of you guys get in with patellar tendinopathy and you start squatting or you start doing something that flares it up and makes it worse. And now it's gonna be weeks before we can get back to actual loading. And that's why most physical therapists will start you off with isometrics. So isometrics, we can maintain our muscle strength while we start to load that tendon. Now the benefit is we can build some strength without flaring up that tendon and making it even worse. So the isometrics are a great thing to do. Of course, if you have the tendinopathy, talk to your physical therapist about incorporating it. Or even if you don't have it, this is what we do to improve tendon health. 
So you don't have to wait until you have a tendinopathy. Just know that majority of hoopers or volleyball players go through this. So why not get proactive and prevent it? So for our athletes, even most of our healthy athletes will start with two to four sets of isometric holds at 45 seconds. So I love a Spanish squat position so we can get the band around our knees, step back and get some tension on it. What that allows us to do is really sit back. So now I can sit my weight back and hold down uh, maybe a little bit above thighs parallel, or if you don't feel any tendon pain, you can even go down to thighs parallel. And we're just holding in that position for 45 seconds. Now, the beautiful thing is we could get some long-term tendon health benefits from isometrics, but the short-term benefits are incredible. So this study by Ebony Rio concludes that a single resistance training bout of isometric contractions reduced tendon pain immediately for at least 45 minutes post-intervention. So essentially what that means is the isometrics provide an analgesic effect, which essentially means we can kind of put that pain to sleep. So there's so many hoopers who have this low level pain, but it's there enough to keep them from their squatting, from their rear foot elevated split squats. Now, when you get that analgesic effect and it lasts up to 45 minutes, that session of strength training can be so much more beneficial. So we'll do the two to four sets of 45 second isometric holds. And then for people with healthy tendons, if they're not rehabbing, we can then get into their more dynamic strength work. And now we're not gonna be held back by any type of tendon pain. So this can be done before you go to practice, before you go play a game, or before a strength training or plyometric session to make sure that tendon pain isn't what holds us back during that session. Tip number three, take care of the neurological aspect. So this is where it gets tricky. What they're finding in tendon research is it's not all about the tissue itself. There's some people who have the pathology and they feel the pain. There's some people that have the tendon pathology and they don't feel the pain. So what scientists are now finding is a lot of it is about our brain's perception of pain. So there's actually some tricks that we can use to take care of that neurological aspect and sort of quiet down that pain and change our brain's perception of that pain. So another really cool study by Ebony Rio showed externally paced resistance training, such as that of a metronome, is capable of inducing changes to the excitability and inhibition in healthy participants. AKA, instead of me just doing squats, I do squats to a metronome. You could easily download any metronome app for free and start doing it externally paced. For example, we could go on the beep down, two seconds on the beep up. Right, And so we're going externally paced. So there seems to be something about that metronome and that external pacing that can actually decrease our pain. And so like they mentioned in the study, it causes that inhibition. So now I can actually get more reps. I could probably use a heavier load. I am now not thinking about my tendon pain because I'm thinking about the pace of that metronome. So that's one easy trick that you can start to use. And of course, as long as we don't feel that pain and we can load, well now we get to remodel, we get the muscle stronger, we get the tendon stronger. Now we're working towards a long-term change in our tendon health. All right, so to wrap that up, if you already have patellar tendon pain, Achilles tendon pain, or any tendon is in pain, go see a physical therapist, right? This stuff is great advice, read the literature, but if you're just training to prevent it so that it doesn't happen in the future or it's happened in the past and you don't want it to come back, here's a simple summary of the three tips. One, one hour before exercise, we wanna have 15 grams of gelatin or a scoop of collagen along with at least 50 milligrams of vitamin C. We wait one hour, we would then go into our isometric exercise. So for the healthy athlete, that could be maybe two sets, anywhere from two to four sets of a 45 second hold. Now you should get a pretty good burn in the quad. So this could be body weight on a Spanish squat, or you could hold a dumbbell in the goblet squat position right underneath your chin. After the isometrics, if we're healthy, we can then load in something more dynamic where we get that lowering phase and the upward phase, so the eccentric amortization and concentric phases. So 
in simple terms, we could do a squat. So I like to use a Spanish squat. You could do a rear foot elevated split squat, whatever you want to do. We want to load heavy, but we also want to have perfect form and we want to go slow. We don't want to be explosive when we're looking for optimal tendon health. Now it's also good to go externally paced. So pull out that metronome app and go on the pace of the app because we can get that inhibition, take away some of that pain and get more high quality reps. All right, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you hit a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, if you wanna see how we incorporate all of this stuff and how we build athleticism to the highest level and get thousands of athletes to reach their genetic potential, be sure you check out the Vert Code and the Vert Code Elite. And if you're a trainer, be sure to sign up and take advantage of our Edge U platform. We're helping trainers and coaches get to that next level. Until next time, I'm out.